Bad. Throughout the world, on any one day, over half a million concrete products like these will be made on fielding presses. Pioneers in hydraulic concrete presses, Fielding and Platt of Gloucester, England, are still, after nearly 90 years, in the lead where concrete press equipment is concerned. This has been the application of the wet mix process to produce a concrete product of outstanding quality. The process consists basically of filling the press mould with a wet concrete mix and then applying pressure until the excess water has been expelled and compaction is achieved. After pressing, the product is strong enough to be mechanically handled and removed from the press. Using a conventional batching plant, Aggregates are accurately weighed and dispensed into the rotating pan mixer. 20 to 30 percent by volume of water is added. And finally, an accurately measured quantity of cement. This fielding three-mould concrete press operating in Scotland is tooled up to produce paving slabs. The three moulds are simultaneously in use for filling, pressing and ejection, thus minimising dead cycle time. At the filling position, the operator places a sheet of paper in the bottom of the mould and a measured amount of the wet mixed concrete is dispensed into the mould. A second sheet of paper is placed on top of the mix. The paper retains the fines on the surface and produces the close textured finish which characterizes a fielding wet pressed product. The press is activated and pressure applied and maintained for a preset period, squeezing out excess water through the base of the mold. Drainage from the top of the product is assisted by means of vacuum. The pressing time, which in effect governs the output of the press, varies between 5 and 20 seconds, depending upon the type of aggregate and the size of the product. In this case, the press is producing over 230 60 centimeter square slabs per hour. After pressing, the product is ejected from the mould. A vacuum plate is used to lift the pressed product from its ejected position. From here, it is then transferred to a swinging arm, which rotates through 90 degrees and stacks it on edge onto a pallet. The pallet is indexed to accept the slabs as they're offloaded from the press. At this stage, the operator removes the face paper. When full, the pallet is automatically moved down the conveyor and subsequently stored inside the building for overnight curing. Next day, Products are moved outside by forklift trucks with grab attachments and stacked for a further period before dispatched to the customer. Although of simpler design and intended for the smaller operator, the fielding and flat single mold press is nevertheless capable of producing 80 to 100 slabs per hour with the same advantages of quiet running, minimum maintenance and low labour costs. This particular press, in operation in Canada, is using a semi-permanent filter attached to the pressing head, so that the press operator has to place only one sheet of paper. The single mold press has proved particularly attractive in North America. The extremes of the North American climate demand a highly durable product resistant to the effects of freeze-thaw conditions, which are aggravated by the use of salt. Fielding pressed concrete products meet these demands. In fact, they meet all the requirements of the most exacting commercial standards. By means of a simple mould change, a variety of products can be produced. Pattern-faced slabs such as these are an ideal job for a fielding press. 
A fielding pressed concrete product is characterized by a fine surface finish and excellent edge definition. The silo stave being produced on this single mold press illustrates the versatility of the machine. The staves have interlocking male and female edges and also have to be of high strength and good dimensional accuracy. A fine textured surface is required to prevent acid corrosion by silage juices. The fielding process achieves these product qualities better than any other manufacturing method. And fielding pressed staves are widely used in North America. In another plant, this three mold press is producing road curbs at the rate of 170 per hour. Working alongside is a takeoff unit designed to handle curbs of all sizes. An important feature of the fielding equipment is its rugged construction embodying design concepts compatible with the arduous working conditions and environment of a concrete works. Requiring a minimum of maintenance, the presses offer years of reliable, trouble-free service at the lowest possible running costs. Since no vibration is used, the process is essentially silent, and the press operates within all commonly prescribed noise levels without any need for soundproofing. With over 450 plants supplied to date throughout the world, Fielding and Platt provide a complete service, ranging from the supply of standard and ancillary equipment to special projects involving purpose-designed plant. The skills of an experienced team are available to solve a multiplicity of customer problems. Quality products, efficiently produced in quantity, on fielding and plat hydraulic concrete presses.